Good morning, guys. So today is the second Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we're going to read the readings for today. Yeah, the first reading is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 3, verses 3b to 10 and 19. So Samuel lay in the house of Yahweh near the Ark of God. Then Yahweh called Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, I am here, and ran to Eli, saying, I am here. Did you not call me? But Eli said, I did not call. Go back to sleep. So he went and lay down. Then Yahweh called again, Samuel. And Samuel stood up and went to Eli, saying, You called me. I am here. But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. Samuel did not yet know Yahweh, and the word of Yahweh had not yet been revealed to him. But Yahweh called Samuel for the third, third time, and he went again to Eli, saying, I am here for you. You have called me. Eli realized that it was Yahweh calling the boy. So he said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and if he calls you again, answer. Speak, Yahweh, your servant listens. Then Yahweh came and stood there calling Samuel, Samuel, as he did before. And Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant listens. Samuel grew. Yahweh was with him and made all his words become true. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And then we go to the second reading. It's taken from the letter Paul to the first Corinthians. Chapter 6, verses 13c to 15a, then 17 to 20. The body is not for fornication, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. And God, who raised the Lord, will also raise us with his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? On the contrary, anyone united to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Avoid unlawful sex entirely. Any other sin a person commits is outside the body. But those who commit sexual immorality sin against their own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, given by God? You belong no longer to yourselves. Remember at what price you have been bought and make your body serve the glory of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And finally, we have the gospel for today. It's taken from John, first, uh, first chapter, verses 35 to 42. On the following day, John was standing there again with two of his disciples. As Jesus walked by, John looked at him and said, There is the Lamb of God. On hearing this, the two disciples followed Jesus. He turned and saw them following, and he said to them, What are you looking for? They answered, Rabbi, which means Master, where are you staying? Jesus said, Come and see. So they went and saw where he stayed and spent the rest of that day with him. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard what John had said and followed Jesus. Early the next morning, he found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means the Christ. And he brought Simon to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon son of John, but you shall be called Cephas, which means rock. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Now we go to the Lecture Divina. And let us reflect on the readings. So John the Baptist introduced Jesus to two of his disciples. He pointed to Jesus as the Lamb of God. The two disciples Followed Jesus. Jesus asked the two, What were they seeking? These disciples were seeking where Jesus abides. He so invited them to come and see where he abides. These disciples spent time with Jesus. Andrew was one of the two, and he introduced Simon Peter to Jesus. Jesus gave Simon Peter a new name, Cephas, which means rock. So two of Jesus' early disciples were originally the disciples of John the Baptist. Hmm. John, in the Gospel, is a witness. 
He bears witness to Jesus by encouraging his disciples to enter into a loving relationship with him. To enter with this kind of relationship with the Lord is a process. We need to be introduced and once introduced, we must engage in an ongoing search for the place where Jesus abides. We also need to spend time with the Lord to discover that the very place where he abides is where love abides. Whenever we respond to this call of entering into loving relationship with God and with one another, we are spending time with Jesus and we are at the very place where Jesus abides. Let us pray that we may truly enter into a loving relationship with God and with one another. Let us be more loving. Let us concretize our goodwill by being kinder in words and actions. Maganda po ang, ang buod ng mga readings today at saka yung gospel. Ano po? The gospel, if we look into it, uh, pertained to on the early days. In fact, on the very day after na nagkita si John, pinsan ni Jesus, at saka si Jesus. That was the end of John's ministry because he has to entrust to Jesus everything that he has been doing so Jesus can start his own. Yun ang umpisa ng three years ministry of Jesus. Jesus was then 30 years old. So three years of ministry. Nang umpisa yun, nang nakita na sila nung pinsan niya. And when John entrusted everything to Jesus, kasama yung disciples niya. Yung sa kanya, si Andrew, yung isa pa. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, he then introduced Jesus to Simon. And Simon became the leader of the, the apostles. Eventually, he became the leader of the church that Jesus left on earth to take care of, of the faithful. So sa context nyo, dito ay parang pinag-uusapan ang how the, the church, the Catholic Church, was born. It is fascinating looking into this perspective of the Bible. How did the readings, the early readings, the first and the second readings correlate with the Gospel? The first reading was talking about Samuel. But the, generally, pinapakita din doon, God calls everyone. God calls me, you, and each one of us for certain things that He wills for us to do. Good. Or do we even recognize the call? Mahirap, no? When, when we are dependent sa situation or kinagisna natin, uh, we are not assigning blame on anyone who is not able to, to recognize God's call. Dahil ako din eh, at nakala ko tinawag ako. Nag-umpisa ako nung pumasok sa seminaryo, nung high school pa lang ako. Nung nag-umpisa na ako sa college, eventually lumabas ako dahil sa ibang tawag naman. Ang tawag ng pangangailangan sa pamilya <clears throat> dahil lang wala ng tatay ko ng trabaho. And I thought it was my obligation to help out. During that time, I was working. Nakilala ko ang aking misis ngayon. And felt that the Lord was guiding me through another path ultimately led me to to marry her vocation ngayon no? hindi sa pagpapare pero sa pagiging katuwang sa pagtatayo ng pamilya how about our respect for our own body following Jesus as stated in the gospel no? requires giving ourselves the chance to to purify our thoughts our actions one of the most important thing for us to purify is put away ourselves from the temptation of, of flesh. Ang pinakamatindi na kalaban natin ay ang sarili nating katawan. Put it on, on another perspective between biological science. You know, ang katawan natin ay may pangangailangan. It doesn't mean that sex by itself is bad. It's, it's there because God put it there for us. It's part of our being. You know? But the proper actuation of our being, of our humanity, has been laid out already. You know? Being man and woman. So that looking for pleasure or lust outside of the norm, yun ang tinutumbok po ng Biblia. It's a sin. It's sinful. Well, we 
ko sinasabing mamalinis ako at hindi talaga ako malinis. No? I have sinned many times. Hindi matatapos yung pagiging makasalanan natin the context of, of purity of our body hanggat buhay tayo, hanggat nandito tayo sa mundo nito. So, the thing is, we get up from from that pagkakalugmo and immediately find God, look for God, find His mercy kung nasaan man yun, and ask for His forgiveness. So, mga kapatid, for today, yun po ang ating message from from the Lord. We are in the, in the season papunta sa fiesta po ng Santo Nino. Ito naman ay very popular sa Pilipinas. And we are actually ongoing na yung mga uh, sinulog sa, sa Cebu. No? And it, ultimately, it will culminate sa, sa Sunday sa 21 for the Feast of the Santo Nino. Officially sa Cebu, doon nagtatapos yung Christmas season. Ang habang hindi pa nagtatapos, eh, allow me to to greet you uh, still. Uh, Merry Christmas and, and Happy New Year, everyone. And God bless us all.